Hi, I'm Jay Leonard J, and this is today's Tune Up. Welcome to Tune Up. This is a little segment I put together. Uh, what, it, what it is, pretty much in a nutshell, is all those little tips and tricks that I've kind of developed over my seven years of hiding in my basement and not making any friends. I'm just gonna save you all that time. I'm gonna show you all the tricks right here. And uh, that way you, you could actually be social, make friends, play gigs, and have people think you're amazing. You can thank me later. For my first video, what I wanted to do is focus on the rhythm playing. Uh, we get so hung up on like guitar solos and like scales, notes, and da, 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 but we, we lose touch about what this instrument really is. For me, at least, the guitar is first and foremost a rhythm instrument, and I find that the tighter your two hands are with your sense of rhythm and your sense of touch, everything else just it just becomes so much easier and your tones and sounds just become significantly more legit. That being said, I wanted to share with you one of my personal favorite little secrets called push button rhythm guitar playing. Say we got a funk line, right? Something like this. <laughs> Now that's a killer line, it sounds great, especially when you have a band, that's all you need to play. But pretend it's just you, and you wanna kind of fill up the space, give it a little bit more funk, a little bit more drive. Well, you know what you gotta do? You gotta put a little push button on it, and all of a sudden you get something funky like this. <laughs> so how do I do it? The way I do it is I create first a rhythm with my right hand, and I keep it consistent. All I'm doing right here is I'm muting with my left hand. And then, when I want to get that note little thing in the... Uh, instead of strumming the note, I'm just going to push the button. Sort of like you would with like a Guitar Hero controller, you know what I mean? So I am have a mute, and then when I want the note to come out, I just push down on that note while keeping everything else muted. Like that, you know? And then here's the other one. The other one the last one, right? So when I want that note to come out, I just push it on while keeping this hand just steady as a rock. Ooh, and then, check this out. This is um, this uh, lick works over uh, C sharp minor. There's my C sharp minor chord here, and look at my mute. My mute is very conveniently over that C sharp minor chord, so then I could actually add that chord in when I want to. Ooh, this is getting cooler. Now, say we could actually start treating the instrument like a drum set. You know, we have our kick, and we have our snare. So we could have a kind of like cool, like a kick snare kind of thing. Hear that? Boom, ticka, pat, da, boom, da, boom, pat. And then I'm just gonna go down and I'm gonna push button my notes, my, my, my chords here. A minor, G, and F. That's kind of how you get that push button. You hear it everywhere, right? Like, uh, like funk songs, get lucky. You could even hear it like Jackson 5. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> you don't just hear it in funk till you hear it in the blues. Think about like Steve Ray Vaughan, turn on the Keeley Ox blood and you get the, the little <coughs> nice mutes and the push button. <laughs> Most people, they just play the note and then they just go an up open stroke. It just sounds too messy when people do it that way. I like it when you have a little bit more of that mute. That just sounds tighter and just more in your face. You heard a lot, you know, a cold shot. See, I'm just hitting all the strings or, um, you know, uh, Jimi Hendrix stuff, you know, you, that's all I'm doing. Then you want to get really funky, you put the wah-wah pedal and all of a sudden your ghost notes, those kind of muted notes, has a little bit more scope to it. They're not just pads, there's a, there's a shape. remember about push button rhythm playing keep a somewhat consistent rhythm with your right hand keep it muted at all times until you want to hear the note and then you just press the button that's my video thanks so much for watching uh, remember this is a two-way street so if you have any cool tips and tricks that you've developed I would love to see them so uh, post them in the comments below I promise if I see them I will watch them and I will respond because I, I just get a huge kick out of seeing what you've all come up with I also want to mention that uh, if you've noticed that my guitar tone is a little bit different in this video it's because unfortunately my old blackface amp decided to kick the bucket so I'm actually in the market for a new amp. So I wanna ask you guys out there, I'm looking for like a Princeton lightweight kind of beautiful black facey sounding amp. What would you guys recommend to me? I would love to hear what you guys have to say about it. If you guys make cool amplifiers, just let me know. I'd love to hear what you guys make as well. Um, that being said, I wish you all the best. Take care, keep subscribing, keep commenting, and don't forget, you know, good gear ain't a substitute for a killer set of hands. I'll see you soon, take care, and goodbye.